Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, Editor-in-Chief of Craft Spirits Magazine, and I hope everybody's well. We had a bit of a break, but now we're back. I'm just enjoying a little bit of a weekend getaway in the country. Hopefully everybody's having a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, I want to thank everybody who came out for the ACSA Craft Spirits Virtual Summit a few weeks ago. And I also want to remind you that the public policy conference that ACSA is doing in partnership with Discus is coming up September 15th and 16th. Registration closes this coming week, so you don't want to miss out on this. And our next issue of Craft Spirits Magazine, we're going to have a special gin focus. I'll be doing the cover story on New Frontiers in the category. And uh, speaking of gin, I caught up with Molly Troop of Freeland Spirits to talk about their latest release. So the idea for the dry gin um, happened when we were bottling hand sanitizer. <laughs> it was a, a lot of you know distillers can relate. It was a very... Um, important project to do, but tedious and labor intensive. And it's just not why most of us got into the industry. And mm. it was so important to do, but your mind tends to drift a little bit while you're, you know, bottling for the eighth hour. And you're like, well, what, what fun project can I dream up next? And this is something where we were talking about like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to do another gen? And what would that look like? What's the goal? And very quickly, we wanted to create a gin that was really good and a dirty martini. Oh. It's a staff favorite, and we had a kind of a very clear picture of what that, uh, what our preference is for flavors that go really well with the, those flavors. Um, and pretty quickly, a uh, recipe botanicals came together, um, and we did about two different um, R&D recipe and development runs and nailed it pretty quickly and got the recipe in, um, scaled it up and released it, um, I think at the end of July. Mm -hmm. so it's been about a full month. It's been well received. It's, it's good and more than just a dirty martini, but it really makes a, if you like any kind of olive in there, you know, um, we've tried with blue cheese, with jalapeno and garlic and all these different kind of savory treats and each one, it works really well. How many botanicals does it have and what are some of the highlights? It has seven different botanicals in it and um, some of my flavors are just um, it's using citrus, lot of citrus forward with the complements of brine. Uh, we really achieve that using uh, the coriander which when paired with juniper has this really nice lemony flavors. Uh, we did some fresh orange as well and then lemon verbena which has this really nice citrus but also grassy note. And when we paired it with um, sumac, which is a, a little untraditional, um, that helped to kind of bridge between the citrus to a brine character that would really go well with any kind of dirty style uh, drink that you wanted, like the dirty martini. Thank you, Molly, and thanks all of you for joining us this week. Hope to see you next time on Craft Spirits TV.